so again the first part of the video was just an introduction about what I'll be covering so this second part okay we'll be addressing the question what is the concentration of magnesium uh, and fluorine at equilibrium so let me just write that down quickly so what is concentration of magnesium and fluorine so this is 2 plus and this is minus at equilibrium okay so that's the question we'll be addressing okay right there so what is the concentration of magnesium ions and fluorine ions at equilibrium so let's get started with that okay so let's first start off by thinking about this uh, in the lab how would it look like so most likely you get a big chunk of magnesium flor uh, fluoride so magnesium fluoride right solid uh, magnesium has a plus two charge fluorine has a minus one charge so you need two fluorines to balance out the the charges okay so again we we toss this magnesium fluoride solid compound this chunky solid into about we're, we're assuming one liter of water okay what would happen well this compound right here this magnesium flu fluoride this uh, compound right here is not really soluble okay um, it does uh, it breaks up into its substituents very slightly so what it means is that if you have sodium chloride for example and we toss that into a uh, water right if we get sodium chloride NaCl we toss that into some water so here's our beaker and then we toss this in and it's full of water it breaks up completely into Na plus and Cl minus ions okay now if we did if we threw this magnesium fluoride into the same things uh, water full uh, a beaker full of water right we'll still have magnesium fluoride the compound the solid compound settled on the bottom while we generate just a few ions a few magnesium 2 plus and fluorine minus okay right so that's what's going on and that's what solubility basically is so it's a degree of which a compound breaks up into substituents so if we throw magnesium fluoride into magnesium fluoride into uh, water we break up into substituents and the substituents are magnesium ion which is mg2 plus and fluorine minus okay and you guys have to be careful here now because we have to balance the overall reaction you know um, so for every magnesium fluoride compound or we toss into water we generate one magnesium and two fluorine so for every magnesium fluoride we generate one magnesium and two fluorine ions okay so we have the equation balance balance and that's the most important thing uh, you guys need to do when you're starting off this uh, these types of problems to get the reaction balance it right away and usually the professor provides you well he, the professor should provide you with a KSP value and again the KSP value is a solubility product constant and that's value is equal to let's see what it is 5.2 times 10 to the negative 11 okay and I'll explain what was going on okay so we're trying to figure out what is the concentration of magnesium and fluorine at equilibrium so how would we start this the first thing I would do is, start, uh, is set up an ICE table which is an ice table okay I C E so I'm assuming that you guys have a basic understanding of this of ice tables okay um, ice the I stands for the initial concentration of these ions the C stands for the change in concentration and E stands for the equilibrium concentrations okay 
So, when we toss the magnesium fluoride into water, the initial concentration we assume is zero, okay? None of the magnesium fluoride has begun to dissolve yet. Okay, so it's zero and zero for both magnesium and fluorine, okay? So eventually, as the, as the reaction is taking place, as it starts to break up into its substituents, we start to generate magnesium ions and fluorine ions. And that corresponds to the change, the C. Over time, we'll generate magnesium and fluorine, and that will be plus X and plus 2X, okay? Again. This 2 is referring to the 2 and the balance equation. And that should make sense. For every magnesium fluoride compound that dissolves into its substituents, we'll generate 1 magnesium, so plus x. So I can even put a 1 here. We don't need to, but I'll put a 1 there. So 1x, and we'll generate 2 fluorine, so 2x. Okay? And the X is basically there to represent that. We don't know exactly the concentration, but we know it will be one times whatever concentration it is. Okay. So at equilibrium, to find this equilibrium value, it will be the initial plus the change. Okay. So 0 plus 1X will be X. 0 plus 2X will be 2X. Okay. So we're almost there, okay? So now we need to understand and have an understanding of uh, equilibrium constant expressions, those expressions that the professor must be stressing constantly. And they look something like this. So in regards to this equation over uh, this reaction over here, the expression will look like this. So KSP, okay? We have the magnesium concentration and we have the fluorine concentration okay so and we'll put a square here okay so what it's saying is that okay like if you guys have already uh, dealt with acid-base reactions and um, specifically um, KAs and KBs which refers to a weak acid dissolving a little bit to form some protons or what have you. Um, you guys should be comfortable with this products over reactants. Well, magnesium fluoride, which is a solid, is not shown in this expression because of the fact that it's a solid. We don't include solids in the overall expression. So, if that's not included, the only thing we have is magnesium and fluorine. So the expression is set up so that it's products over reactants so we have no reactants, so it will just be products or products over one and that really doesn't make a difference, right? so I usually just leave out that one so we have to make sure we raise the the ion that we have in this expression to an exponent equivalent to the re balance, balance reaction, okay? So magnesium has a 1 in front of it, so we're assuming there's a 1 right here for the exponent. Fluorine has a 2 for the reaction, so we have to have a 2 there also, okay? So this is pretty basic stuff. So this is the expression, and we know, based off the given KSP value, that it's supposed to equal 5.2. times 10 to the negative 11, right? There's no units involved with this, okay? So, now all we have to do is plug in the equilibrium. So it's specifically these values over here, this x and 2x, okay? So we have to plug in x and 2x into the course, the following places. So magnesium will get an x, fluorine will get a 2x. So remember, the only concentration you're plugging in for the expression is the equilibrium concentrations these are the equilibrium concentrations right here so I'm gonna erase this so I have a little bit of room 
okay and let's do this so I'll put it over here so the expression we know is magnesium 2 plus and fluorine minus raised to the second power will be equal and this is equal this whole expression over here is equal to the KSP okay so let's figure out the answer we want to find the concentration of that equilibrium so plug in X for magnesium plug in 2x for fluorine right because this is equilibrium concentration and raise it to the second power okay um, and this is equal to 5.2 times 10 to the negative 11 okay now this is basic algebra you have to distribute this exponent 2 to both the x and the 2 over here so it'll be x and then so if you have a 2 here and a 2 to the x it'll be 4x squared is equal to 5.2 times 10 to the negative 11th right so it'll be 4x cubed is equal to 5.2 times 10 to the negative 11 let me grab my calculator right quick Okay. So now all we have to do is divide 5.2 times 10 to the negative 11 by 4 and get the cube root of x. Okay, so um, actually, let me shift this up a little bit so I could have some room working with this. So, again, okay. So it'll be x, 2x squared is equal to 5.2 times 10 to the negative 11. So it'll be 4x cubed is equal to 5.2 times 10 to the negative 11. x cubed is equal, right? Because we divide out by 4. We have to divide this out by 4. So let me see what that is right quick. 5.2 times 10 to the negative 11 divided by 4 will be... 1.3 times 10 to the negative 11th and then we get the cube root of this we have to get the cube root of that x is equal to so let's see what that is so um, I hate this calculator hold on one second oh my god okay one second let me get my other calculator Okay, so to 1.3 times 10 to the negative 11, so I got 2.35 times 10 to the negative 4 um, molar, okay, that's the value I got. Okay, so if you want to be aware of significant figures, we the KSP had um, two sig figs. We could end up with two sig figs. So I just put a little uh, mark right there to signify that it's at that place right there. So two sig figs, and it'll round up to four. So the answer, in essence, would be 2.4 times 10 to the negative fourth molar. Okay, so that gives us our x value, but that doesn't tell us anything yet. We're almost there. It doesn't. It doesn't tell us what the concentration of magnesium and fluorine is. Now all we have to do now, once we found this x value, this value right here, we have to plug it in to uh, the x over here, and we plug it in to this x over here. Okay? So now we know that the magnesium concentration here is going to be 2.35 times 10 to the negative 4 molar and for the foreign concentration at equilibrium it will be 2 times 2.35 times 10 to the negative 4 and we and I got 4.7 so I'll write this down here so magnesium concentration magnesium is equal to 
2.4 times 10 to the negative 11th molar and the fluorine concentration right we have to plug in this over here multiply by 2 and that will give us 4.7 times 10 to the negative whoa sorry about that this needs to be a 4 and this needs to be a 4 molar so there you go that answers our first question what is the concentration of magnesium and fluorine at equilibrium so again let's go over this right quick the expression is again the equilibrium expression that we need to immediately right after we find the the reaction the balanced reaction will be the products over the reactants and since the reactant is never included since this reactant since it is a solid is not included in the expression okay again because it is a solid all we will have for this problem will be the products so product A times product B okay and again keep in mind it's the concentration so the concentration of magnesium times the concentration of fluorine raised to the stoichiometric power okay so since magnesium has a one raised to the, to the power of one since fluorine has a has a two in front of it we raise it to the power of two okay now again we start off with zero zero right initially we start off with uh, we don't start off with anything and then eventually we generate X for whatever magnesium fluoride that dissolves we get one magnesium and two fluorine again is based off of the stoichiometry okay and then what happens is at equilibrium in order to find this value we sum up the initial and the change so 0 plus X is X 0 plus 2x is 2x now all we do is once we find these values these equilibrium concentration values we plug it in into the expression over here okay and that's what I did here so for magnesium I put an x for fluorine I put a 2x raised to the second power so 4x cubed is equal to 5.2 times 10 to the negative 11 the cube root of x cubed and the cube root of 1.3 times 10 to the negative 11 gives us an x value of 2.4 times 10 to the negative 4 molar we're not done yet we plug that value into the magnesium concentration we plug that value into the fluorine concentration and that will give us the concentrations of magnesium and fluorine at equilibrium so that's the first part okay so stay tuned I know this one was a little bit long-winded this video but I really want to um, cement this concept into uh, into your guys head that uh, this is how you should work these problems out you know start off with an ice table make sure you guys balance the reaction write the expression and so on and so forth okay hopefully for the next parts uh, it won't be that long so please stay tuned while I discuss the next question which is what is the molar solubility of magnesium fluoride and how many grams of magnesium fluoride uh, has dissolved okay